<laughs> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Today is Wednesday, oh, April 19th, 2023. I have a fun-filled day today. And plus, we're going to a homeowner in Jamaica, Queens, an, elder, an older elderly woman who can't even turn her water on because it froze during the winter. And we're going to make the repair for free on the Mikey Pipes Philanthropy YouTube channel. Check it out. Link in the description box down below and also right there. Today, Daniel and I and Peter, we're going to install a three-zone Fujitsu ductless mini split system. We're going to use the best tools we got. I have that, that flaring tool by NAVAC. I have a bender. I got some awesome, great stuff. So check her, check it. Stick around, smash that thumbs up button, and make sure you subscribe. Do it now. All right. Now that that's out of the way, yesterday, in yesterday's video, I had a giveaway. And the giveaway was, what time will we be done with yesterday's Whale McLean Ecotech 110C wall hung combi install? All right. The answer was 219 keys in ignition, or... Well, the metros, yes. Keys the ignition. Daniel, you know, push button start. And the grand prize winner. I was going to give some Vegas stuff to, right? I promised to give a two-inch mega press uh, coupling, but I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a T. Sorry, I'm going to give you a 90. Wow. Are these are all 90s they sent me? Oh, my God. God bless Vega. We got a box of 10 of them. <laughs> I'm going to send you two... Two-inch uh, Mega Press 90s, and that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna give you two couplings, and if you're nice enough, I'm gonna give you two T's too. But I'm not gonna give you this. All right, I'm not gonna give you this. This thing is a drill killer. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want that. So, whoever was closest, without going over to 219, and you didn't cheat, email me, MikeAndMikeyPipes.com. The grand prize winner is gonna win some Vega Mega Press fittings. And the second prize winner, right? You're gonna win a Pipe Doctor hat, a shirt, and some other cool swag. I may even give you, I may even give you this freaking plaque on the wall. I am not kidding. I love you, you love me. We're one big happy family. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now on site. It is a couple minutes after eight in the morning. <sighs> Look at this Patriot right here. That is a Patriot. Unlike my neighbor who lives across the street from a Karen who has the American flag on the ground. I made a video about it this morning on the Mikey Pipes Uncensored channel. You may want to check it out. Disgusting. It's a violation when you have the flag on the ground of the United States Code for USC Chapter 8. I happen to know code. I like code. Call me Mikey Code. All right, we're on site. We're going to install this... Fujitsu three zone. We have one high wall and two low walls. Let's get it done. When what other company is where the boss is carrying the the employees tool bag? Look at this. What other company? Only here. Mikey Pipes Pipe Doctor. All right, let's go. Above here, it is unit number one. Okay, center between the TV and the existing window. We're gonna put the Fujitsu. I think it's an eighteen thousand BTU unit. Right there. Why does every time I start recording, does my phone ring? <laughs> All right, we have the Fujitsu uh, ASUH18 LPAS. I believe this also has a built-in Wi-Fi. Let's totally decrate that. You know what? And I like the way they packing packaging, packaging this now. It's not with the with the plastic bands, and then you don't have a box you can put garbage back into. Yeah, sure. You know, very nice. All right, let's decrate this. Squeeze it out. Pull it out. Pull it out, Peter. You gotta pull it out. There you go. Now, decrate the rest of it. Make sure there's nothing else in here. Nothing important. Okay. Very good. Oh my God. This is brick. <laughs> wow. That is like a cinder block wall. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Florida. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? 
those hacks that installed the ductless system for me in um, my house in Boynton Beach. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, that was bad. Dust all over. Okay, what's, what do we have there? 57 and a half. 50, what's half 57 and a half? Something and a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> 22 and 3 quarters. Okay, 22 and 3 quarters. Let's go. 23 and 3 quarters. Open the ladder. The little giant. You like the little giant? Okay. Mark center. Come on, you can do it. Oh, use, a, use a coin. Oh. Okay. That's our center mark. Oh, you could have made it a little more pretty than that. 57 and a half. So that's going to be six. And four, six and 28 four. and three quarter. And what did you do? 28 and three quarter. I got uh, five. Oh, because the one carries over from the seven and... <laughs> Uh-oh. Good thing you didn't use a permanent marker. <laughs> like a Sharpie. <laughs> Wait, that was 20. Seven. 28. 28 and seven and three quarters. Because the carried over. Wow, you were way off. Damn. Now make it make make a line like you mean it. There you go. Okay, make sure that's center. Yeah, that's center. We're good. I'm using the camera auto center feature. What? I'm using the auto center feature on the camera. What is that? I don't know. I made it up. Oh. <laughs> Bring that up there. No, you don't need that yet. Bring that up there. And your your center hole. Yeah, you know what? I would, about an inch above that little mark, you're going to drill a hole. Here you go. Right there? Yeah. A little higher? Yeah, so, right. uh, the problem is you're gonna, not going to be able to get the unit on possibly with the crown molding there. Let's take a look at the unit yeah. itself. <laughs> yeah, you're about, about a, an inch there. So, so I think that should be a problem. Yep, there you go. Mike G. <laughs> Are you deep feels enough? Like, feels like wood. Oh, man, it's brick for roughly behind, right? There you go. Good. Don't go crazy. Okay, now, here's a plastic anchor, shield, whatever you want to call it. Hammer that bad boy in. See? We use our head. Okay. Now, Here's a screw, put this there. We're gonna show people step-by-step step how to do this. All right, and then you're gonna get a torpedo, all right? And you're gonna, using a torpedo, mark out a few of the locations where we're gonna put some uh, anchors. Right. Our wall mount bracket is now secure, roughly an inch and a half off the top of the crown molding. We're gonna drill a hole right there, All right? And I got the Milwaukee M18 brushless rotary hammer with the pilot bit, and hopefully the pilot bit is just enough to get through this masonry wall. And uh, we'll do a pilot bit first, making sure our penetration outside is good, and then, we will make it a bigger hole with the opener. You ready, Peter? Yep. Okay, let's Peter, do it. I bottomed out. Let's see. Do you think we made it through? I think so. Oh no, it's siding there. Shh. Fudge. All right. We have siding there. So we're probably through. See if we have a longer pilot bit. I think there's one on the pick on uh, the, the flatbed, the back of the pickup truck. It goes on a regular drill. Maybe it's a little bit longer Peter? than this one. Mm -hmm. I think she's long enough. What do you think? It has to be. I don't know, that's what she said last night though, your sister. Yeah. Oh! All right, we made a hole. Still not deep enough. So now Daniel's using the spider bit in reverse to cut through the vinyl siding. And once he does that and through the fiberglass, I mean the foam insulation, then I'm gonna give him the hammer. Good? Yeah. All right. Okay. Now drilling with the M18 hammer drill. Open the brick 
Not every day you see a, a cinder block <laughs> or block cement wall, but that's exactly what we have here, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look. We have a good four inches of cement, followed by a cavity, followed by brick. So we're getting there, and then we're going to run our drain, our control wire, and the um, line set through that hole. Room there to get the uh should be able to get a vent in no you left the room to get the flare oh yeah that's fine the okay. flare nut will go on yeah okay very good all right let's work on the wiring and let's do here's our control wire and i just knotted it so it doesn't slide through there again i'm just gonna use a knife and i'm going to cut off the plastic insulation very carefully without cutting myself with this dull razor. Make sure you have a tetanus shot, ladies and gentlemen. Have that tetanus shot. You need a tetanus shot. Ooh, tetanus. Okay, so now I'm just gonna cut off the rest of this with my dull knife. Do you care if I start ho hooking up the uh, line set? Knock yourself out. Do you have the outdoor condenser out? I don't need that, I just need the fix. Peter, I need a, uh, I need, you know what we need? We'll there's, do something a little bit different there's today. There's wire strippers, a crimper, and those fade connectors right there. <laughs> I knew that's what you were going to Wow. See how Daniel plans ahead? Thinking okay. ahead. Okay. So we need the... I got my Beetle Nose by Klein, and I have my amazing, amazing long-handled blue screwdriver. Amazing, look at this. Mwah. My God, I love this screwdriver. It's a great, great screwdriver. Absolutely love the screwdriver. And it's made by this company, but I don't want to have a trademark infringement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll just keep that right there for right now. So let's prepare this right here. Let's cut these back a little bit. And if I had my Nipix wire stripper, I would use that right now, but we're gonna use the needle nose. And I happen to be skilled at using needle noses. Now, we're gonna take four of these spade terminal connectors. One, two, three, four. You know, you don't need five, you need four. Black, white, red, green. So the first one we're gonna do is black. Put that right there. We're gonna use this crimper and we're gonna crimp it on the yellow, which is right there. Okay, now we're gonna take another one. Wow, I feel like I'm Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. <laughs> Who's that? Mr. Rogers? You don't know who Mr. Rogers is? That a, it's a beautiful day. In the neighborhood. Okay, yeah. I've day heard of that. I've never seen the uh, show. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. To live in the neighbor, to be in the neighborhood with you. So let's make this the most of this beautiful day. I've never seen this. Since we're together, we might as well say, could you be mine? Won't you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, in case you don't know who Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood is, well, you got a little education today. He was on PBS. I used to watch PBS. Public, public broadcasting system. All right. And um, 
Yeah, I grew up in a house without cable TV because my parents were cheap. That's why I inherited everything. <laughs> right, and um, yeah, so I had Channel 13, which is PBS. Sorry, yeah, no, Channel 13. It was, a beautiful, it was a beautiful station, you know, with really no commercials, you know, because it's funded by viewers like you. True. And while we're talking about viewers like you, guys, later today on the... Mikey Pipes Philanthropy uh, YouTube channel. We're going to Jamaica, Queens, and we're going to restore someone's water who hasn't had water since the wintertime. A pipe froze, and in order for her to run the water in her house, take a bath, a shower, uh, flush the toilet, she needs to turn on the water with a bucket there and run for a short period of time because otherwise it floods out her basement. So we're going to take care of her later. So make sure you check it out. We're doing it on the Philanthropy channel. There's going to be no charge to her whatsoever. Can't wait to do that for her. That's our way of giving back. And that's the way we're gonna make the trades great again. Okay, so I just secured my 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 ground. Now I'm gonna do one, two, and three. Now one, two, and three, I'm gonna do black, white, red. Those are the colors that I use. And if you look close enough here, you will see. Oh, see these spade connectors don't wanna go. Look at that, it don't wanna go. If you look there, you're gonna see there's a black, white, and a red wire. But you're gonna see when we do the when we do the uh, the other indoor units because those are low wall units. You're gonna see that they are labeled as black, white, red there as well. So let's do black, and there. Hopefully now it goes. Ah oh, man, it don't want to go. It don't want to go. Look at that. And it don't want to go there. It's not gonna go there either. That sucks. These are too big. They're too big. They're not fitting in the hole. They're not? They're not fitting into the slot. Peter, go get my terminal connection kit. All right. Disaster diverted. Averted. So now I use these blue ones, and they actually fit on there nicer. So let's take the... Are they going to slide right in there? I'm going to slide right in there like I'm going to slide into your girl's DMs. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Get in there. There it is, look at that, sweet. Okay. So there's black, white. Oh, what the hell? Did you give me a, a one that's retarded? Oh, look, it's fatter than the other ones. Get in there. Oh, hold on, let me undo this a little bit more. There we go, okay. Black, white, and then red. Or let's get you right in there. You know what? Needle nose. You know what? Just when you need to get the tight little spots, the needle nose comes into play. And there it is. Okay. So now we have black, white, and red secure. Look at that. Beautiful. We're going to take this little wire retention clip and we're going to secure that in there come on baby where's the hole there's the hole right there oh don't slip on me okay good there that is okay so that's secure there and all we're gonna do now is we're gonna get the electrical part of the cover, which is right here. Okay. So now, the indoor unit is just about done. We're gonna take the screens off. We're gonna add those anti-iodine thingies onto this thing, which is right here. Okay. It's a very important step to do this. That goes there. These get washed with the filter, right? They never really need replacement. There's one, and there's the other. This help do something about ions and things like that out of the air as it's circulating and I don't know, it does a good thing. If it comes with it, might as well use it. So, 
one unit's gonna go right there, and the other screen's gonna go there. And they come out very easy. You're gonna check these every 30 days. Look at them, if they look dirty, put them under the sink, the tub, wash them, put them back in. Once you shake them, you know, get all the loose water off them. Now, we're gonna take our cover. Voila, she's done. The only thing left to do now, we're gonna take some spray on. We're gonna clean off the wall right there. We're gonna remove all of our debris and proceed to the next unit. All right, location number two, right there. We have the Fujitsu 9000 BTU low wall unit. My biggest pet peeve is they put so much damn blue stickers on here. This tape, like there's a, they, they, they have stock and tape. It's crazy. They must make this tape. It's crazy, All right? Every single one is loaded with tape. <laughs> like, come on. Why so much tape? Tell me, why so much tape, Jujutsu? Oh, damn, so much tape. <sighs> All right, there is our mounting bracket that holds the top of it in place. Uh, from, we're doing it off the top of the base molding, so uh, from the floor, if you're doing it from the floor, or from whatever surface you're measuring off of, 22 inches from there to there. Keep that in mind. Uh, there's an opening that I need for my line set electrical and drain. And we have a shield there, 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 and there. Because in the manual it says to do that. Let me show you what I'm talking about. There it is, see? Screw, 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 screw. Don't be screwed when the thing falls off the wall. And if improperly installed, might cause accidental injury due to toppling or falling. You don't want to topple. Not this bad boy. Right. Uh-uh. Peter's gonna man the drill. Just get in like right over here. Right there. Okay. okay hold on, let me get the vacuum. You don't wanna make a mess, do you? She's so pretty. So, you know how we do control wire for line sets? For the um, communicating wire, we do black, white, red. Yeah. And some people do black, red, white. Yeah. And I always, I told you there's a reason for my madness, black, white, red. Because on some Fujitsu models, it's actually color-coded black, white, red. Like this model right here. Black, white, red. And green. See? Why is there four? Ground. No, there's an actual number four. Four? I don't know. Maybe uh, three-phase. Oh, right? I guess, yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? I just brought you this stuff. Oh, okay. You want to do it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, grab it. And I will do the electric. Just like that. Black, white, red. So Daniel just flared the three. Every time without fail. <laughs> every time I start recording, the phone rings. Daniel just flared the three eighths and the quarter inch. And now we're going to secure that. But you notice we what we're talking about, Latinas Chicas. Latinas Chicas, right? Look at this. I just got in the news, right? Man, 19, with pipe, allegedly beat captive woman on Long Island. <laughs> right? And guess what? It's in Lawrence, New York. A 19-year-old man was arrested for kidnapping and beating a woman on Long Island, police said on Tuesday. All right, police were called near Hollywood Avenue in Lawrence around 4 a.m. Monday for a domestic disturbance. When the police arrived, the victim told them that she had been attacked by Christian something Aguilar of Inwood. And, and they spotted him driving on Lawrence Avenue and arrested him without incident. <laughs> right. Apparently... Uh, he slugged her multiple times in the face and refused to let her exit the car. Slugged. <laughs> slugged. That's what it says. The dispute escalated when police said he slugged her multiple times in the face and refused to let her exit the car. Right? He allegedly threatened the victim several times before smashing her phone with a pipe, attacking her with the pipe, and robbing her of 300 bucks. The woman escaped and called 911. Daniel, I have a quick, what do you tell a woman with two, two black eyes? It's, a, it's something about like open your ears black and like. Eyes. What do you tell? What do you tell a woman with two black eyes? You should have listened. Nothing you're not. Nothing you haven't already told twice already. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not trying to advocate the rest of violence. I'm just trying to make you guys laugh. The extent of the relationship wasn't immediately clear. He's been charged with second degree kidnapping, second degree assault, third degree assault, fourth degree criminal possession of a weapon, third degree criminal uh, criminal mischief, and second degree criminal possession of a forged instrument. Well, 
Yeah, pull the wire. Man, look at this guy. Where is it? Oh, he's not in the picture there. Crazy, crazy stuff. All right, so back to black, white, red. One, two, three. There you go, in the ground. Oh, the ground. In the ground, I made the wider spade connector because it'll fit there. Just like butter. Slide right into Brianna's DMs. No comment? Hmm? Slide into her DMs? I heard Brianna and I zoned out. <laughs> More. Good right, thing she don't want Keep going. Keep going. Good. Oh, less. It's a good thing she don't watch the channel anymore. Does she even watch you anymore? Uh, yeah, I think she just puts it on when she's doing homework. <laughs> Aw, she likes hearing your voice. Aw, aw. Can we talk about, um, let me take it off camera. I gotta admit, everything cleaned up. She's really a beauty. Look at that. That is a beauty. Beautiful. Okay. Now, time for this one. This one's going right there. Similar fashion, pretend that's a window. Same base molding, it looks like the same. It's gonna go right there and it fits like a glove. All right, we're on this second floor, like cape style house. We cut a hole there in the wall to get us into the knee wall. And Peter's vacuumed up all the, the debris. We need a pilot bit. Let's get a pilot bit. And we're gonna drill a hole through the exterior wall and say hi to Daniel. All right, this is the last one. It is, ooh, quarter to 11 already. Um, units on the wall, and we're utilizing the knee wall, which is in there. There's our line sets. Uh, we're gonna run some three quarter inch PVC. I sent Peter to the shop to get another length because we didn't have enough. <sighs> it is what it is. Uh, I got my control wire, my three eighths, my quarter inch, and my drain. Uh, gonna run through this knee wall to that unit, and then we'll be good to go. So there, I have plenty of line set there, as you can see. It will be good. Daniel's working outside on the covers for the living room and the front, sorry, the rear left bedroom. And we're working right. on 12 after 11. Peter's going into the abyss and he's gonna drag the line sets with him and the communicating wire. And he's gonna feed it all the way over there to right there. Got my light there. He's got the headlamp on. He's got direction. We're good to go. So now we're waiting for Peter to deliver us. Line set. Right there. Any minute now. All right. He went a little past it. He needs to shove it in there. Right in there. Right in that hole. not a one-person job it's a two-person job it's a, and it's a great job okay that's good i'll take the three eighths and then the wire <coughs> push Okay, good. And the wire. Okay. All you gotta do is connect the drain now. You good? Yep. Excellent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is a few minutes after 12, and I'm gonna show you how I take care of my guys, my team, my family. That's some fresh KU right there. Check gentlemen. Guess what has arrived? Some, that too. Mikey Pipes has arrived. But take a look at this, ladies. You ready? Those look. Really those good. look really good. One looks even better. I peaked already. Are you ready? ready? Are you ready? ready. Oh man, here it comes. But do you dick goats? I love goats. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> Yeah, half, I'm not gonna eat that half, but I'll eat 
right, those two right there, I'm not gonna let them touch the other ones, but how's that look? Good. <laughs> Tiny pepperonis. Yeah, that's what King of Burnt though does. That them. looks effing tits. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is a quarter to one. It's still Wednesday, it's still April 19th, it's still 2023. I don't know how, I don't get how some contractors take days to put in these systems. They're, what the f fuck? What are you, retarded? She just slammed, almost slammed into me. Are you stupid or something? Look at that. I think she's all high and mighty in her freaking... Mercedes-Benz SUV. There's, there's that. Cor Whatever. But um, I don't get how some of these contractors take days to put these systems in. I had it happen to me, myself and I. You know, property down in Florida all day to put in a single zone. Single zone system. And it made a mess. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit that thumbs up button. Please consider subscribing. If you're not already a subscriber, you may not even realize that you haven't subscribed yet. Look down below. If it says subscribe and it's not, in all, you can click on it. You haven't subscribed, so please subscribe. It helps my channel grow, and it helps with a lot of things called analytics and uh, you know how YouTube recommends you know my channel, my videos. So I really appreciate if you do that for me. Do that solve for me, guys. And I'll keep creating videos for you every single day because that's what I love doing. And I'm very proud of the work that myself and my team do uh, every single day for our clients, customers. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Smash that thumbs up button. Be well. God bless. Stay safe. Catch you in the next one.